Hey, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center, home base for Wisdom in Golf. And uh, today, now, one of the things that's come to my attention, I've been extremely busy all summer, uh, given a ton of lessons and uh, enjoying every moment of that. And, and one of the things I found with my regular students is that they appreciate what I bring to the table as far as the knowledge and, and the understanding of the swing but then there's still some of the old stuff that they haven't gotten rid of that's really throwing a wrench into the situation. And one of the things I see, uh, one of the common things I see is keeping that head down. And it's really, you know, when I, you see the body language of somebody trying to keep their head down and uh, it'll become very evident to you after you see what I have to say in this particular video. So let's first and foremost rewind back to one of the videos that I discussed about where to park the head. And we talked about how the head has a, a pivot that has a specific range of motion. So if I turn myself sideways here, you notice if I turn my head toward the camera, I can't get my chin all the way to the shoulder. I've got about 70 degrees of range with my head. And what happens, most of you like to face the golf ball. Okay, so when I'm facing that golf ball, my head is straight on. And if you don't allow the head to turn in the backswing and you're trying to keep the head still, well now, there, there goes your range of motion. Now you try to keep going because you know that from here you really can't swing through the ball with any kind of authority. You can't get the ball out there. So then you try to continue while trying to keep the head down. So the head's resisting and then you're trying to finish your backswing, that's when you get dragged down into the mud face first. And you're really setting yourself up for some nasty injuries as well. So notice how my head drops as I try to keep it down and I'm trying to get my backswing. And the same thing happens on the other side. I swing toward the target, try to keep my head down. And all, what happens is my trailing shoulder, I'm doing left-handed today, my left shoulder is pulling my head down instead of collecting the head and bringing it up into my finish. So please, please stop trying to keep the head down. That is probably one of the worst tips that's ever been given in golf. And I know some of you are chuckling right now, but if you really consider why, why we've talked about that, and we, we tried to, we talk about how we want to stay still. Well, we don't stay still where the head is the body pivots around its center of gravity. Center of gravity is the centermost point in the body where you have equal weight up and down, front to back and side to side, right there. So when I'm swinging, my arms are swinging around their center. The center of the arms is the sternal notch. Pardon me about the, the microphone. The sternal notch is right here. So if I only had one arm and I was cutting grass with just one arm, Notice how gravity is tracking that arm around a very specific center, my shoulder socket. I put both hands together, both shoulder sockets come together through the clavicles to the sternal notch. So when I swing around that, notice how my arms form a nice arc, nice circle around this point. Why does this point, why is it able to stay in place? Because I've removed the obstacles. When my arm falls into the backswing, my body pivots out of the way. When my body pivots, it pivots around that center of gravity. This is my body pivoting around its center of gravity. So the center of gravity of my body is always situated in a beautiful position inside the feet and inside the center of the arches of my feet. So I feel that when I pivot, the center of gravity is not sinking forward or falling back. My center of gravity is constantly staying very centered on my feet. Even though you see my body going up and down, my center of gravity is always positioned nicely inside the feet. So if I try to keep the head down, now I'm preventing the arms from swinging freely. I'm getting dragged forward. When I get dragged forward, my center of gravity falls onto my toes and now you're reacting to an out of balance condition instead of swinging to a target. That will completely short circuit your swing. So we turn the head out of the way about 20 degrees. We tilt it a little bit. I feel like I have access to the target. 
so I can swing freely to the target and it feels like I can finish my backswing so I can whip the snot out of this thing effortlessly. I can't. I'm off balance. I can't. I don't have enough range of motion. All because I'm trying to sabotage my system, trying to keep my head down with a conscious thought. So don't worry about the head. You bend from the hips. We just talked about that posture. We bend from the hips to cut grass. Now, if I bend from the head, I still can't cut grass. It has nothing to do with keeping the head down. Bend forward from the hips. Now I can cut grass all day long and my head is in its anatomical position with my body, okay? So if you see anybody on the range doing this or doing this, you know they're trying to keep their head down and that's really straining the system, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that. See you in the next video.